everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley and thank you so, so much for tuning in today. So here on my channel, I typically like to do review videos, hauls, comparisons, basically anything active wear. And today we actually have a comparison video. So if you're not new here and you've been watching my videos recently, you will know that the brand Define has quickly become one of my favorite brands that I've been wearing recently. And so I figured I would come on here and do a review video of the Dynamic versus the Impact Collection. So I know for myself when I was online choosing which one I wanted to go ahead and get, I did end up ordering both by the way, but I wasn't sure which one to get because obviously, you know, you see the models, but you actually don't even see any details details of what the differences truly are between the two. So today we're going to go over length, inseam, comfort levels, where they sit on the body. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my opinion on which one I might prefer over the other. And by the way, if you are new here and you have not hit that subscribe button yet and you like videos like this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would truly, truly appreciate it. And also let me know in the comments down below if you have worn this brand before, which one you might prefer over the other. And if you like this video, well, of course, go ahead and give your girl a like. And also for all of you who have been subscribing lately, I truly, truly appreciate all your support. Thank you so, so much. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I have shorts from each collection and also leggings from each collection. And actually a bra from each collection too. That wasn't intentional, it's just because I got matching sets. So we're gonna go over impact leggings, shorts, and bra. So the leggings are both a size small and the tops are both an extra small. I'm gonna go ahead and do the shorts first. So we have impact and dynamic. Right off the bat, I don't know if you guys have even really been on Define's website to do your own research, but the dynamics have a little bit more coverage than the impact. So the impact are meant to be a more low rise, smaller type of inseam. So if I compare these side by side, I'm just gonna lay them right on top of each other. So here is where the stitching meets. Don't mind my nails, I'm gonna be doing them right after I'm done filming this actually. So as you can see, it's not like a whole lot of fabric here on the sides, but when it comes to the center, as you can see, like it's, it's really not, right? But when they're on, it feels like it's so, so much more. So if I show you guys from the back, when I line this up, it's a decent, amount of fabric, right? Now when that's on your body though, it definitely, definitely is lower. So if you are not into low rise leggings or shorts, don't get, <laughs> don't get the impact, just get the dynamic. Now inseam of the actual short themselves, if I line up the gussets here, they are the exact same. So really all you're getting when it comes to the difference of the two collections is just one is a more high rise and one is a more low rise. Now I am more of a high rise girly myself. I do like to have a little more coverage. Now I feel like that's really only because I have a long torso. So when I do wear low rise, there's like a lot of skin showing in my midriff section. So I do like to just like have it usually right or right around my belly button, like even my sweatpants I'm wearing right now, you can see I have them up to my belly button versus when I do put on the Impact Collection, like it's lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and show you guys them side by side. Actually, just to add to this really quick too. So this is the matching bra for the Impact shorts. They are a halter style type of bra. Now, I typically don't purchase halters, but obviously I wanted to get a cute little matching set here. And this is so cute. One of the main things that I actually really like about this halter, which is typically my complaint with halters in general, is the fact that this band actually does stay up pretty well. Now that might be because I did get it an extra small. I typically get bras in a small, but I've noticed recently, depending on brands, that I've been leaning more towards extra smalls to be able to have a little bit more cinch, like cinching, I, guess, I don't know, like tightness, I guess I would say. And I'm really happy I did get this in an extra small because I feel like I got it in a small, it would be too large and this would be falling quite a bit. Now with it being an extra small, obviously our neck here is going to be just a little bit more on the tighter side, but it's not anything that I would really complain about. In my opinion, it is still really comfortable and this does not slip, which is super freaking nice when it comes to a halter top. Okay, so now for the leggings, we got dynamic and impact. I, I love blues. If you guys are not, 
not new here and you haven't watched my videos, y'all know how much I love a blue. But I had to get this in pink and I can say almost every single time I wear this set to the gym, everybody's like, oh my gosh, Ashley, pink is your color. So I don't know, I think maybe I need to just start buying more pink because I think it's super cute. My only complaint with this color is like, it's just, I've, I have been wearing these. I don't know if you can see if like the camera's picking it up, but it does get dirty pretty easily. So like I'm continuously having to clean these and when I'm at the gym like lifting up plates I have to try and not like bubble with my knee to get them up because then I get the plate stain on my leggings so not the most fun thing but it's such a cute color I can I guess I can just overlook that so I got this with my little matching bra now I will say for this bra I did get this in an extra small as well and I've been wearing it and I still will continue to wear it but I do wish that I got this in a size small I feel like their bras are pretty true to size. Um, this does dig quite a bit in this top area, but like I said, it's not because of the bra. It is because a user error um, when doing sizing. So keep that in mind if you are ordering their bras, maybe just size, like stay true to size. And if you're not really sure and you're in between, just size up. That way you have a little more comfort in the strap area because I can't wear this for very long. I literally wear it to go to the gym and then when I get home, like get this freaking thing off me. So I would be conscious with your sizing with their bras. Halter didn't matter as much, but this one with the strappiness, definitely just size up. So once again, I'm just gonna go ahead and compare these two leggings to their seams. And I almost feel the leggings no, I don't know if it's just me, have a little bit more of a low rise than the shorts, which if I line these up, like you can already see, we got about an inch. We got about an inch, guys. So it is really noticeable when I put these on. Now, I never have this issue, but I sometimes feel like I'm going to have this issue. Maybe it just brings back memories from when we all started wearing leggings back, back in the day, like when I was in high school. <laughs> And you know, you'd bend over and your undies would be poking out because you would be wearing such a low rise leg. And this is before high rise legging when they were just kind of pumping them out. So I feel like it does kind of bring back memories to those days. Now I will confirm, I don't have any undies poking out in these. It does a good job on actually covering and kind of contouring to the glutes with the waistband just enough to where it's not going to have your undies poke out. So you don't have to worry about this with that. I don't know why I always had that feeling, but I do, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, if I compare the inseam, which I'm gonna have to line up these seams here to be able to actually get a true reading on the inseam, but I almost feel, yeah, I'm definitely right. So if you're on the taller side, you're probably gonna want the dynamic versus the impact because the impact, you don't have as much length. And honestly, I feel like the impact, the material of the impact leggings like themselves is actually thicker than the dynamic. If it, if I don't know if it's just me, but it definitely feels like it is. Maybe that's why they give it the name Impact. I don't know. Maybe it's meant to be more impacty. Now, stretchiness scale with leggings, definitely gonna say they're pretty compared. You know, I feel like the dynamics are a bit more stretchy than the Impact. The Impact, because it is thicker, it feels like it's just more like durable. All right, so here's outfit number one. This is the Impact collection. So as you can see, like it does fall decently below my belly button line here. And then this is the matching sports bra to go with this. So if I show you guys from the side here, I do still like these shorts. If I had to say, if I have a preference, I will let you guys know at the end, but I do have a preference over the two. So fit wise, just below my belly button in the back, still decently kind of a high rise in the back. It's just, I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the front is just a pinch lower. Now the shorts themselves here, which is what Define does with all of their shorts, is you do have these contour lines here in the back. And so basically what it is, is you have all this compression throughout the entire rest of the shorts. And then in the back area, this material is actually a decent amount thinner than the material here. So it like squeezes you and then it like lets it out. So I really do like the way that these shorts look. Um, they obviously are very flattering on the glutes. If you guys have not tried this brand yet and you are considering it, I would say definitely give it a try. I think that the only complaint that I've had people comment on my videos is that they don't like the thickness of the scrunch, which I do kind of like the thickness of the scrunch because I feel like in my opinion, it's just more durable. And so when I'm like doing some squats, you know, I'm not like feeling like 
this here is going to rip. Now, are these squat proof? You know, I have trained legs in these quite a bit and I've never had any issues with colors. Now, obviously if I was wearing maybe a very bright pair of underwear or something that wasn't a thong and you could actually see the underwear line, I wouldn't do that because in that case now, yeah, it's definitely not going to be squat proof. But if you're wearing a thong and it's a decent color that isn't super bright, I'd say you're definitely safe. Now, if we go onto this bra, like I said, this is a size extra small. And if I show you guys the neckline here, like it's not, I've been down here, it's not super duper tight where I'm like, Oh my God, but it's very comfortable. And in the back here, this does not move, which I absolutely love. I, growing up, I never really wore halter tops for that reason because I always hated the back kind of sliding down, but I do love the neckline of a halter top. So I don't know, I'll probably end up buying more of these in a size extra small. <laughs> these do have removable cup pads and I just find them to be very flattering. Now, if you have a larger chest area, I would definitely say to size up, but I do have all my measurements listed in the description, so go ahead and use those for reference if you're unsure on what size you do want to get. But if you are a similar measurement to me, I'd say in this bra, the impact bra, go ahead and get the extra small, you would be totally fine. So let's go ahead and put on the dynamic shorts for comparisons. Okay, here are the dynamics. So as you can see right off the bat, it obviously covers my belly button entirely versus the other collection set right probably about here. So you do have quite a bit more here on the waistband. Now, when it comes to inseam, I know that I obviously measure the inseam side by side, but it still feels like the impact shorts have a shorter inseam with just the way that it fits with the material. So I obviously roll my leggings, but you can see like I have a little bit more material here in the bunching area than I do with the impact. So if you like something that's more low rise and kind of like smaller all in all, like th this way, <laughs> then get the impact. Now, I do like the fact that I do have a little more coverage with this, especially depending on kind of what I'm doing and how I'm feeling. If I wanna have a little bit more tummy coverage and control, I'm gonna go ahead and obviously opt for the dynamic collection, but I really do love the colors that they just came out with the impact collection. So I'll probably end up picking up just a few of those because they, they change their colors depending on their collection. So if they release a color in the dynamic, they're not going to release that exact same color in the impact. So it's also color dependent. I'll show you guys a close up here. You can see it goes up a decent amount here on the side. Same thing where you have obviously thicker material here and thinner material here. So it gives you the effect of kind of having some glutes back here. As you can see here, squatting in these, definitely squat proof. Once again, thick scrunch right here down the middle. And I don't feel any sort of resistance. Really, really comfortable to move in. I've worn these on squat days so many times and I've never had any issues. So definitely good ones to squat in. Now let's go ahead and move on to the leggings. All right, we're gonna give it up for this little pink and blue moment here. Such a cute set. Oh my gosh, I am absolutely in love with these two colors. So I had to go to pair them together. On another note, if you guys notice that my background is a little bit different here, I'm actually filming at one of my rentals right now because my house is, well, at least my downstairs where I normally film, is full of suitcases. I actually leave this afternoon to go to California for work for the next couple months. So I had a lot of stuff to pack and I got a lot of suitcases. So I was like, you know, I need to go ahead and get this video filmed and then I'm gonna be editing on the plane that way I can make sure I get this video up for you guys. But that is why I am in a different filming area. But then to add to that, for some reason, the weather here in Alaska wants to be a pain and it has been like minus 40 for the past week. And I think it's gonna continue on to this upcoming week. So it'd be nice to have some warm weather. I think right now it's like minus 48 outside. So I actually have a heater literally directly in front of me. I'm actually a little bit cold filming this, but we are all good because I had to make sure I get this video out for you guys. This is the things that I do for you. So let's go ahead and get back to our review. So these are the Impact Collection. I don't remember the colors of all of these, but of course I'll make sure to list it in the description below. So like I said, size small, size extra small. So same thing with the shorts, how you do have this just below your belly button line. And from the back, it is a pinch lower. Now, obviously, if I'm bending down, I don't have any issues with underwear rising up because of just how cinched these are. I can give you guys a little 
tore from back here. So lengthwise, I'm 5'3", and they fit me at a really good length on my ankle. So I would say if you're on the taller side, these will probably be a little bit shorter for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and add to this, if you guys haven't watched my previous videos where I've talked about Define in the past, with how thick the material is on these leggings, the shorts, I have no problem, obviously they're shorts, but leggings, man, these are, these are tasks to get on. So if I'm breathing heavy, <laughs> that is why, because I literally had to like really pull these down. Once they're on, we are good, but it just, it takes a while to get them on. So I'll go ahead and mention this bra too. This is also from the same collection. It's the same color as the pair of leggings I'm about to put on. But like I said, you have a little bit of digging right here because I got a size extra small. And then I have just some digging kind of right in this area too. So I do wish that I got this in a size small, but this size extra small, I can definitely work with. If it it's me, it's just not very comfortable, but we'll go ahead and keep it anyway. So if I do a squat test here, so you guys can see, still a lot of coverage right here and they're not sheer. So definitely good to wear on a leg day very durable scrunch these are nice now let's go ahead and put on the dynamic leggings as well all right so let's give it up for one of my favorite sets to wear this is also from the dynamic collection so right off the bat as you can see these do come up a lot more the last leggings were like this so with the shorts versus the leggings the shorts definitely are not as large of a difference in the waistband than the leggings. The leggings is actually, I'd probably say about an inch difference. So if you don't want something that's that low rise, I would say definitely opt for the dynamic collection if you're more used to high rise and you don't want low rise. So from the side here, as you can see, even in the back, it's much further up. You do not have as much midriff showing if that's your jam. And let's go ahead and do a squat test. So this is a lighter color. Definitely don't wear darker underwear, but because it obviously comes so high up on your back, here's my underwear line right here. So with the other ones, it was more kind of down sitting right here. So just go ahead and keep that in mind, but you can still wear these definitely on a squat day. Same thing, you have all the tighter material here and loose material here. Now, one thing that I will add is the fact that I just told you guys that the blue leggings are really, really difficult to get on. Okay, I wouldn't say really, really difficult, but they were difficult. The dynamic ones are definitely more stretchy. They have more elasticity and they're not as thick. So when you're getting them on, it definitely is easier to get on the dynamic than it is the impact. The impact definitely is confirmed. It is thicker. So. I did have to battle those. I don't have to battle these. So if I had to give you guys my opinion on which one I prefer, I would definitely say the Dynamic Collection over the Impact Collection. I will still continue to buy items from the Impact Collection because A, I really like their colors, and B, they really are just a cute set with the matching halter to go with the leggings and the shorts. But just my personal preference, I do like a little bit more coverage with my leggings, so I would definitely purchase more of the Dynamic than I would the Impact. So if you guys are looking for an answer, here it is. I would say to get the dynamic. And I also think that they just came out with some new colors for that collection too. So you're in luck if you're watching this video right now. I am going to go ahead and finish packing my bag because I am, yes, I am definitely one of those last minute packers. That is me. So it's mostly packed. I just got to obviously get all those little loose ends that are kind of sitting around and catch my flight this afternoon with it being like minus 50 outside. So that's going to be really fun. I love up the car well thank you so so much for watching guys if you have not subscribed yet please consider subscribing to go ahead and support my channel let me know in the comments down below which one of these outfits was your favorite and if you have tried to find before which collection you prefer and of course drop a like if you did like this video i would truly truly appreciate it and i will go ahead and see you in the next video bye